Hello to all the boys and girls who are preparing to make the sacrament of confirmation. And a big hello as well to your parents, guardians, grandparents, family members, and all who are helping you to prepare for, for this great sacrament. My name is Father James, and in this short video, we're just going to be going through a little bit about the sacrament itself, the role that you as parents and guardians have in helping your child prepare for the sacrament. And then we're just going to point out the key dates that are going to be taking place over these next few months. So as we begin this time, we are going to listen to a scripture reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came round, the apostles had all met in one room. When suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. And something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks. People describe their journey of coming to faith in Jesus in so many different ways. One time, Jesus was talking to a religious leader, a man called Nicodemus, and he said this, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born again. How can anyone be born in old age? Nicodemus asked. And Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. The expression born again has become a bit of a cliche and doesn't always have positive connotations. But actually, Jesus was the first person to use that expression. And what Jesus is saying is that just as when a man and a woman come together in an act of love that produces a physical birth, so it is when the Spirit of God and the Spirit of a man or a woman come together, a new spiritual birth takes place and they begin a new spiritual life. Jesus says that to, to experience the Spirit is like to be born again. It's a new, a new birth uh, in the sense that everything becomes alive. Uh, the Holy Spirit doesn't change anything and he changes everything. It doesn't add anything to what Jesus has already said and instituted, but it makes all Jesus has, has said and done alive today. But this is what the Holy Spirit is meant to be. Uh, the one who accomplishes, who realizes, who reenacted the work of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is a relationship, a person. A person. It's a personal love between God the Father and the, the Son. And if human love can change the life of two people, imagine what does the Holy Spirit with love in person, when he comes upon a person and when he, he is accepted, welcomed, uh, there can be a, 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 a more <clears throat> rewarding experience than to experience the Holy Spirit. And so we've just heard the power of the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit does. And it's that same Holy Spirit that our young people receive in the Sacrament of Confirmation. In the Sacrament of Confirmation, just like at Pentecost, the Holy Spirit falls and the young people are joined more closely to the church and made strong to bear witness to Jesus. Confirmation in many ways is a continuation 
of those beliefs first affirmed when we celebrated the first sacrament of initiation, our baptism. Through baptism, the sacrament of Eucharist, and finally through confirmation, we rededicate ourselves to Christ, we become full members of the church and take on our faith for ourselves. Now I'm just going to go through some of the practicals of the different uh, services in the lead up and sacrament of confirmation itself. The service of commitment, which takes place, the children are asked to commit themselves to Jesus and the church in a new way. They will have a certificate of commitment and at mass, which you will be invited to watch at home. Their teachers will present their certificates, lead them on the altar or in front of the altar, and they will be called by name and they will stand. The certificates will have been completed in class by the children. The service of life. This is a very symbolic and important service. From baptism, parents have been keeping the faith alive in their children. And in this service, which we will celebrate virtually, we will invite you to give a, a pass the light of a candle and pass that to your child. If you need a candle, please ask one of the priests. And so confirmation itself and the preparation. Confirmation preparation is so important. We ask you to help support this by, by discussing and helping with learning at home. Pupils have been, people have been preparing in class and will have prayers and different things to learn that we ask you to help and support them with at home. At confirmation, each child will choose a sponsor and often children ask who can be their sponsor. Well, in short, a sponsor should be over 16, have been confirmed themselves, are practicing their faith, is a positive role model for your child. You can choose your child's godparent, but this isn't essential. And the sponsor can be male or female. Now, choosing a confirmation then, we ask you that you would try and put a lot of time and research into choosing uh, your confirmation name. It should be a saint's name um, that represents an element of faith. And maybe you would use the internet to, to research a particular name that you like. Discuss the choice of confirmation name at home. Children will research various saints during religion classes. And the confirmation card. There will be a confirmation card which will be brought home to be completed. And in it you need to complete the, the date of birth, where they were baptized, the name of the parish, the name of the church, the name of the priest and the godparents. And so on the day of confirmation, all our young people should be in school uniform. We ask um, that you bring your child to the church no more than 15 minutes, around 15 minutes before the start of the ceremony. And you can come slightly earlier if you wish. We ask you that when you go into the church, you keep an atmosphere of prayer and preparation for the great sacrament. For child protection reasons, we ask that no photography is taking place during the ceremony. And then the Pledge Mass. The Pledge is a choice made by the children to abstain from alcohol and drugs. You can discuss this and we would ask you that you would discuss this with your child at home. And it will be discussed in school as well. And there will be a Pledge Mass which will be later on in the year.
Okay, now as we come to the end of this short video, we get to the practical arrangements and all your dates should appear over here. And so the confirmation ceremonies themselves are going to be celebrated on the 4th of May, 5th of May and 6th of May. On the 4th of May at 11 a.m. we have St. Congal's Primary 7A and at 2 p.m. St. Congal's Primary 7B. On the 5th of May at 11 a.m. we have St. Congal's Primary 7C and at 2 p.m. we have the young people from Round Tower Integrated, Six Mile Integrated and those young people who go to the other schools who are being prepared by Mrs. McGuinness. And that's at 2 p.m. And then on the 6th of May, at 11 a.m., we have St. Joseph's Primary 7A, and at 2 p.m., St. Joseph's Primary 7B. At the moment, um, we're not 100% clear on which church the sacraments will be celebrated um, the hope is that St. Congal's children will come he to St. Congal's church, but we will confirm, your teachers will confirm the venue um, of the sacrament closer to the time as um, we begin to get a clearer and better understanding of restrictions and so on. By who attends the confirmation ceremony? Um, we are asking that only those in the immediate family bubble um, to come to the sacrament and we will have a great streaming service for the rest to watch online. There's a number of ceremonies in the lead up to the sacrament of confirmation and it begins with the commitment services and these take place um, beginning on Tuesday the 25th of January here in St. Congo's at 10 o'clock the children of St. Congo's primary school will make their sacrament will make will, will celebrate their commitment service parents are invited to watch online then on Monday the 31st of January at 10 a.m. in St. Joseph's Church the young people from St. Joseph's Primary School will celebrate their commitment service. And again, that's during school and youth parents and guardians are invited to watch online. And then on February the 8th at 4.30 p.m., the children from Six Mile Integrated, Round Heart Integrated, and Miss McGuinness's young people from the other schools in our parish will celebrate their commitment service and the next thing then uh, just before confirmation is the service of light this beautiful service when the, you as parents symbolically hand over the light of faith to your child and so these ceremonies are done virtually the way we have done on previous years that it's been a great success and these will be celebrated on the zoom platform and will take place on Wednesday the 27th of April and Thursday the 28th of April. On Wednesday the 27th of April at 6 o'clock in the evening, St. Congal's Primary 7A. Then at 6.30 it will be St. Congal's Primary 7B and then at 7 p.m. St. Congal's Primary 7C. Then on Thursday, the 28th of April, St. Joseph's will have their virtual services of light. And at six o'clock, it will be St. Joseph's Primary 7A. And at 6.30, St. Joseph's Primary 7B. Then at 7 p.m., Round Tower Integrated, Six Mile Integrated, and the other young people in the parish taught by Mrs. McGuinness will have their, their service of light at 7 p.m. And then after confirmation, 
we will have uh, a pledge mass. The pledge traditionally would to always take place uh, uh, during confirmation, uh, but we in the parish here have always had a separate, a separate day for it, and with everything we haven't been able to do that. But we're going to have a pledge mass for the children of St. Congles in St. Congles Church on Tuesday the 7th of June at 10 a.m. And then on Wednesday the 8th of June, we will have the Pledge Mass with St. Joseph, as well as the children from Roundtower, Six Mile, and the other schools at 10 a.m. in St. Joseph's Church. They are a lot of dates, so hopefully they would have appeared just over here. And uh, please take a note of the dates that affect your own child. We're really excited about this sacrament and about journeying with all our primary sevens over these next days, weeks and months. We pray for you as you prepare to receive the gift of the sacrament of confirmation. May God bless you always in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.